Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 25 and 26 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 25 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm? Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my god. That's some size 11 shoes, probably. Smith. <laughs> 29 5 30, so oh I can't do that to inches they did they, they did some big shoes 11 12s or 13s big shoes Sure you can. <laughs> oh. Cooper Cody. No, 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 puppy. Down, right here. Where, oh, you went back to your bed. Mm. That cool aura he has. Oh. <laughs> So silly. Honestly, I thought this episode was going to continue from, you know, Kyoko's perspective, but I'm guessing, like, mm, it's going to happen again soon. Because, I mean, still, like, last week's episode, especially with her, that was a sweet little moment between those two, even though they're, like, kind of something. They're, mm, there's somewhat chemistry there, even though I'm, like... This man is like 40 and she is in her 20s. Are we okay with this? Okay. Oh, that looks so good. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> Even I have a coffee cup with his name on it. That's so cute. Yeah. I, I know, Nagato, you just want to go against Ray. I get that, but maybe Ray doesn't want to go against you again. <laughs> yeah, a little too confident. Okay. Stop. 
stop. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? It's an interesting quote. <laughs> really? No, Nikaido, it's all your fault. Exactly. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is. You can make make almost like a beach ball one. The more and more I see these cats, it just reminds me of that one show that I kind of make. I want to make a reaction series on. It's the show with the cat and the dog, and um, Hina's VA is in it, and I think she plays the cat.
Mm-hmm. You could put the duck inside the water of the mold of the jelly. That's a smart idea. <laughs> no, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, kind of, but I, it would look cute. I mean, because some people, well, us as little kids, you know, submerged the duck in water and then it came back up. Come on, Momo, you do it, baby. You got this. seeing her cry. <laughs> oh, that's a cute picture of her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Tina. Hmm. What's up? Something is on your mind. You want to talk about it? See, she says, uh, I can't speak. She says that, but. Why is she avoiding it like that? I don't like that. We may not talk about it now, but it seems like whatever is on Hina's mind it's eventually going to have to be talked about. That's not good. I hope not. something did happen. I hope she ain't getting bullied. I swear to God. She's so precious. She shouldn't get bullied. <clears throat> food. See, y'all gotta shop showing me food. I haven't eaten yet. I'm not eating until like probably four o'clock. Is it good? Oh, I thought Momo would have said something too. Well, what if you... I don't think it'll happen. I don't think his opponent will come, like, out of nowhere and they try to talk to each other. Mm. 
And I think I've actually seen one of those types of bushes either here or where I used to live in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. The hell? Mm. Yeah, because no one else in your family would take you in so of course eventually you got bullied mm. well cause yeah cause you're always to yourself that too but I mean mainly that's because I'm shy sometimes but No, oh, she's pretty. He's better at it. Mm. The more the relationship with them slowly dwindled. Because mm. you can tell she's putting more love and care into Ray rather than her actual children. Just how with their dad.
Because that's all you had. Hmm. Good game. You know, sometimes I think when about Ray and his current situation, because I, I, comparing it to other sports and then careers at the same time, especially when you love something so much that you put almost your all into it, which is what Ray has done to the point where he is where he is and he is what he is currently now, but sometimes you possibly lose yourself. There are times where I felt in like the 20, well, yeah, because we're officially 25 episodes into this series. Um, you think he is going to lose himself, but then there are ways where he brings himself back. Whether it's through Kyoko, Kyoko's younger brother, the girls, anything. But I felt like there's going to be a moment where Ray is not going to be able to come back to like his, his center, his happiness his upbringing bringing I said that wrong <laughs> but yeah I mean I feel for him every day I mean he's such a good player and yes just as just as much as any good players you've had some bad matches some good matches you've won you've lost it's okay it happens to all of us no matter what the hell happens but yeah it's okay I just want to know about Hina and her little situation because it's something there so either she's getting bullied or something. Oh. Mama. <laughs> Look at her. Where is she exactly? Wait! <laughs> Are those hydrangeas? You know? What the hell bullying this child? I just want to talk. That's all. I just want to talk. What you doing? <laughs> Seriously, I just want to talk. Just want to talk. Just want to have a couple of words with these groups of kids and wonder what the fuck they bullying this precious child. Oh my god. Like, oh. If it's not that, she need to talk. Because it's been on her mind, like, ever since her grandfather was like, yeah, let's come up with a new idea and such. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's got to be something. I don't know what it could be. But the biggest thing as I can think of is bullying. And she's so precious. Why in the world would you bully this precious baby? Like... <sighs> can I be the character up, please? Like, oh my god, please. If it's not that, then I don't know what it is. You, I just hope... That in this next episode, she's able to confine in both her sister and Ray 
I, I know Momo ain't gonna really understand because you know Momo is a child and there's some there, there's some things a child should know but then at the same time that they should I mean especially because Momo is such it, Momo is at such a young age and even though Momo hasn't experienced bullying yet it's sometimes better for her to already kind of know like the signs and everything I don't know. I mean, it, it just depends on the person and the situation. But yeah, we need to know what the heck happened to this child. Like, seriously, I, I need to know. Like, ASAP, please. Like, mm -mm, we, we're just going in the next episode. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 26. Okay, episode 26 in 3, 2, Exactly as right now in her shoes. Well, one shoe in the slipper. about to kick some kids ass like oh my god mm. I hate seeing precious babies cry oh my god like it hurts so much like you just shouldn't be <laughs> especially like when I had friends in high school and they would come up to me crying and I'd be like okay what's wrong and they'll say like something like someone did this and then I'll be like okay like you know how when you have those types of friends where something is wrong and you're wondering what it is and then you try to do something what the problem is that was me in high school also in middle school as well because oof and then it was worse when people had problems with me and instead of them being you know a big kid about it they would tell someone else and then that person would tell me and I'm like What's the point in that? Like, seriously, just come and tell me. Instead of hiding behind someone. And usually, like, because <laughs> I remember I finally confronted somebody about it. And they were like, oh, no, I thought you were going to beat me up. And I was like, what? Why do I need to beat you up? What is that going to do for me? Nothing. Like, seriously. That ain't gonna do anything for me. <laughs> I'm above that. <laughs> yeah. So your friend was getting bullied. Okay, the victim. And you defended her. Aww. Poor baby. Ah. Please tell me this girl didn't do what I think she did. Bitches.
We left. But that's not fair. You shouldn't have to clean everything up by yourself. Exactly. This isn't right. I wrote stuff on her desk, too. The fuck? What the heck is wrong with this teacher? And they did. Of course, because they don't want to get bullied as well. Or they could have at least transferred her to a different school. Oh. But in a way, it's better for her. You better feel for her. Of course, Hina says something. Oh, okay! Go ahead! Go ahead! Yeah. <laughs> That's my Hina. But of course, because of that, she started getting bullied. Mm-hmm. And you know. Of course, because since what's her face is gone, they need someone new to play with. You did the right thing though. I mean, yeah, you know, that girl needed an ass whooping, but Ahem. <clears throat> 
If this don't bring up memories that you had when you got bullied, I don't know. Because, ooh, this is bringing up memories for me and I hate it. because they were scared.
とう。ああ。Right? Right? Me too. Yes. No, it wouldn't. Because in the end, she would still get bullied. Even if it was someone higher up who did something. I mean, you could get revenge in a different way without, you know, cooking some ass. I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. That's right. Not everybody can do that.
no. That was so cute. I can't. Oh. That cream is too so nice though. I'm sorry. <laughs> In a way, Ray did do something. He took her to the library, but I still think, and you can tell by his face and his body language, that he wants to do more for her. I mean, he cares for Hina. She precious. The Hina bullying is very similar to my child freaking Kisa, Soma, precious baby girl who I love so freaking much, and it was kind of like bullying. It's very similar in how I love her so much. She's so precious. And when she finally found her voice, even though we are not done with Ruth's basket as a whole yet, but when she did, <laughs> I couldn't help but cry. I mean, honestly, I didn't think I was going to cry. I was like, yeah, we're going to be strong. we got to be strong in this episode, okay? It's okay. And then once Momo started crying, and then Hina left, and she's crying and running at the same time. And then once they got to the bridge and Hina just like broke down, I was like, that's it. I can't help. I was like, I got to cry over this. This is just too sad. I mean, because all of us have experienced either getting bullied or watching someone getting bullied. And then eventually you're the one getting bullied because you're fighting for what you think is right. And even if you did stand up to them and you helped that person and in the end you get bullied just remember what you did was right even though people will make your life a living hell it's worse because with me I kind of did you know I didn't give uh, no, I didn't bully anyone but someone bullied me to the point when it was our we were in 11th grade together she bullied me ever since ninth grade. She bu No, she bullied me in ninth grade. We never saw each other in 10th grade because we rarely even had classes together. Um, but we saw each other again uh, in 11th and 12th grade. And we didn't really talk in 11th grade, but 12th grade, we, we talked, but not to the point where I'm like, I considered her a friend. Mainly some of the people, like, I'll even say this now, like, if you, if <laughs> the bullies who bullied me, I would still call them acquaintances, even though there's kind of one that I got to know, um, a year later, and I still don't want nothing to do with her because she pissed me off so much, um, and everything, but it just depends on the person, and usually, I, I think I kind of said this with, um, Wonder Egg Priority, People who normally do the bullying, they do that because there's something wrong at home. They're trying to um, express themselves or um, lash out at someone by using you as that person and such. And this is why I kind of wish people would be more into talking about their feelings and stuff. Hence why, you know, almost every freaking school you go to, 
there is a guidance counselor, but it, it depends on that person's feelings and how um, they're treated. Because me, I'm a type of person who, I yeah, I like to get in my emotions a lot, and sometimes I like to hide my emotions. Sometimes I like well, not sometimes, all the times I like to keep ish inside, bottled up. And then one time I'll just blow up like a ticking time bomb as someone just like rubs me the wrong way and I go off. Whether if you follow me on Twitter and sometimes I go on like a really long rant, that's how sometimes 50 out of 50 you know I'm pissed. And I'm just going off just to go off because sometimes that is how I can just immediately blow away my steam besides listening to music and such. And now I can, or well still now, I can talk to my mom about it. I can talk to sometimes my dad about it. So if I want to call my dad up, um, sometimes I will listen to music whether it's English, Japanese, whatever, that relatively calms me down. Me going on Twitter and doing a rant for a couple of minutes, me going on like any other social media app and saying something except Facebook because I don't do Facebook anymore, barely. But I mean, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm happy for what Hina did because in the end what she did was right because you have to stick up. I've met so many people in the past of my life that have gotten bullied and it's like that and I felt bad for this one girl who was in chorus with me and she was the nicest sweetest thing and uh, I think it was our our 11th grade trip or 12th grade trip in chorus. I think it was our 11th grade because we went to um yeah it was because mm -hmm, we went to Atlanta and there was just one popular girl who I was kind of friends with in a way and this chick was popular only really because like when I first met her she was okay and then because she got super duper popular in chorus and then she decided to do cheerleading that's when she kind of you know became a complete and total bitch um well she bullied this one girl who I knew and me and this one girl were hella sweet to each other we liked the same things she wasn't really uh into anime but you know the phase of twilight yeah that's <laughs> Our little connection that we have but she was getting bullied by the popular chorus singer and cheerleader and we we took my friend under our wing we had her hang out with us during the trip and everything because it was like it's better for you to be with people instead of being on your own and it's like that and when um I graduated I heard that a year later once me and all my friends had graduated and stuff that this popular girl who ended up bullying one of my friends she was the one who ended up getting bullied so yeah in the end karma is a bitch and i'm not gonna say that these girls that bullied um chihiro and hina are going to get bullied but once again karma is a bitch and sometimes you know it'll come to it, it'll come back to you way 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 more worse than it did you know for the, whatever you did it's gonna come hello worse and so uh, whatever happens happens i feel bad for these girls it's just <sighs> girls are jealous and it's worse when you're older especially when you're in your 20s and then you know or if you watch a reality tv show and how some of these women can be bitter bitches for some weird fucking reason and you're like oh my god like stop being fucking bitter what the fuck is wrong with you but honestly really who knows people men women kids were bitter about something any any little thing to just set someone off and to just make them angry and get pissed at us because at the end of the day that's what bullies want no matter what whether you are arguing with someone on twitter or any other social media app or you're at school and you're getting bullied by someone all they really want for you is to either see you cry or for you to make a complete outbursts are an ass of yourself in front of them because that's their enjoyment and the best thing you need to really do is just fucking ignore them let them you know <laughs> the best thing that you can do to have your bully <laughs> be pissed at you is to smile at them it's the best thing because you know that no matter what they can't hurt you no matter what the fuck they do you smile in front of their face that's a big old fuck you to them so just know that because my mommy taught me that and so even though sometimes I wanted to do this like to my bullies like that like mm, I just do a big old smile and be like mm -hmm, I'm better than you I will always be better than you you can't do anything to hurt me anymore because I've already been hurt so much in the past like what the hell are you gonna do to hurt me
nothing. But yeah, that's my little TED talk for the day. But yeah, this episode was really, both episodes were hella emotional. Like, oh my god. I just, I know Hina can get past this. And, you know, give it a couple episodes and she'll be happy again. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to uh, towards episode 25. <laughs> And 26th of March comes in like a lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 27 and 28. Bye, guys.